Allah Azza wa Jal knows everything. Everything. But He speaks in the Quran in a way that you and I can get. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ So you can understand. So you can apply your intellect. So you can benefit. He clarifies for you the ayat. While he already knows everything. Wallahu alimun hakim. In other words, Allah has gone out of his way to make things simpler and easier for you. And then he says, subhanallah, and And Allah himself clarifies the ayat to you. You know in the beginning of the surah, we, wrote, we read suratun faradnaha. وَأَنزَلْنَاهَا وَأَنزَلْنَاهَا وَفَرَدْنَاهَا وَأَنزَلْنَا فِيهَا آيَاتٍ بَيِّنَاتٍ A surah in its entirety, we sent it down. Then he said, we, made, we mandated things in it. We mandated it. And we clarified in it. The first part we just st studied about the hudud was the mandate. And now we're learning clarification because the, the reputation of Aisha has been clarified. رضي الله تعالى عنها. So he says, and he clarifies for all of your benefit, the miraculous signs. And Allah knows everything. He's all wise. Wallahu alimun hakim. You have to understand that ending also. Wallahu alimun hakim. Why does he say that ending? You know, Allah is a teacher. And Allah is the owner of all wisdom. He speaks to us in a way that we can benefit. He chose every word. He chose every ayah, he chose every subject matter, and the time of delivery of that ayah for our benefit, which would be the best for your learning. He doesn't have to do that. He already knows everything. He already owns all the wisdom. He could just dump it all whenever he wants, all of it. Like the mushrikun would say, how come the Qur'an didn't come down jumlatan wahida? One time. Let it all come down one time. You know, uh, to help you understand this concept, there's a difference between a teacher and a scholar. A scholar knows a lot. They've been studying 30 years. They know the subject inside out. They may even have a lot of wisdom. But if you listen to them for one hour, you'll be knocked out in one minute. Because they have so much information that they're presenting to you based on what they read at their level. And they're speaking at their level. So they're speaking over here. But you're where? Down there somewhere. <laughs> now what does a teacher do? A teacher may also have a PhD. May have studied the same things as a scholar. But when he decides to become a teacher, he takes that information, and he says, how do I explain this to someone who's over here, so they can come over here? So they can come over here. So they can come over here. You understand? So he has to change the way, or she has to change the way they speak, the examples they give, the subject matter they explain. They have to do things to make sure you understand. Their concern is not getting their ideas out. Their concern is getting their ideas out in a way that you will benefit. Allah Azza wa Jal knows everything. Everything. But he speaks in the Qur'an in a way that you and I can get. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ So you can understand. So you can apply your intellect. So you can benefit. He clarifies for you the ayat. While he already knows everything. Wallahu alimun hakim. In other words, Allah has gone out of his way to make things simpler and easier for you. This is why يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ We made Qur'an easy to remember. You know? The, the, these injunctions in the Qur'an are for our benefit. You'll notice something that's, I mean, I still believe it to be true. Some people think I'm being blasphemous when I say this. I don't think I am. So I'll say it again. There, the, the book of Allah is so rich and so deep. But at the same time, the book of Allah is so simple and so straightforward. I've never, read any tafsir of these ayat and they're going to be complicated. Like the grammar discussions and the historical analysis and the this and that. But if you read the ayat themselves, at the end of it all, they're just straight forward. Human beings, I mean, we attempt to understand the Book of Allah and thank God for the tafsir. Without them, I don't know what I would do. 
But at the end of the day, the way Allah takes the most complex realities and He puts them in the simplest of language, in the most beautiful words, and just just a few phrases, we just can't do it. But we should be inspired by it. Keeping things simple and concise. That's what Allah does. You know, I, I don't have to prove to someone how much I know. Actually, the biggest debate I have when I'm preparing for these durus is when I'm preparing my notes, I'm going to the mufassiru and what they said, and it's like Arabic, 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 but I have to give a lecture in English. So I have to cut out, cut out, cut out, cut out, cut out, cut out. And my research team gets really sad because they did all this research with me. And that's why I don't do it in front of them. So I'll read the whole thing and say, okay, that was his point. Let me just write that in half a, half a note here and cut it out. Like, ah, ah, you know. But you have to. Because if I started quoting all that stuff, you guys wouldn't get anything. You wouldn't get it. It's too, it's too heavy. You have to bring it to a level where you're, where you're teaching. So this is actually, and by the way, when a teacher teaches, who are they concerned about? The student. This is, the, the, to me, the miracle in these ayat. Is that Allah Azza wa is extremely angry at what happened. And yet He's still giving counsel as a teacher. And He's still clarifying. And He's still speaking in a way that will benefit you the most. SubhanAllah. This is the unimaginable mercy of Allah and how He gives guidance.